My name is Lamont Ratchford, uh, founder of Higher Definition Radio. Uh, doing this month, we want to take time to spotlight local businesses and private citizens who are doing great things in the community. Our goal for Higher Definition is to make sure that our community is well represented with positive and enlightening information. Uh, during this pandemic, it has been tough on a lot of people, and we want to make sure that we are representing our community well. My name is Frederick Thompson, Sr. I am from Lancaster, South Carolina. My hobbies are, are wide ranging. I love motorcycle riding. I love uh, walking in the woods. I love you know, shooting. I got into funeral services uh, after going to a service uh, with my grandmother. I was between the ages of eight and 10 years of age. Um, the funeral director that particular night, uh, I've seen him on numerous occasions. I, I didn't know exactly what he did uh, in detail, but I just knew that I wanted to be like him. And I told my grandmother uh, that when I was between the ages of eight and 10. The thing that I enjoy the most about my profession is getting the opportunity to serve families at probably the worst time in their lives. They've lost you know, a mother, a father, sister, brother, a child. I can perform a service to them, for them uh, that helps to, to ease that burden just a little bit. You know, there's nothing that I can do to bring their loved one back, uh, but I can help give them a memory that they will uh, take with them from now into eternity. The advice that I would give anyone that wants to serve in funeral services would be to study, study, study. Um, one thing that you know, we cannot teach you is compassion. So uh, I, I would definitely advise anyone to, to check your, your compassion level to see if you are compassionate, see if you're sympathetic, see if you can be empathetic, and then take the time to study. Uh, and the other advice I can give you uh, is to just make yourself available. Uh, this is definitely not an eight to five, Monday through Friday occupation. Uh, you may get a call at one in the morning. You may get a call on Saturday uh, at midnight, literally Sunday morning while you're in church, you could get a call and you just have to make yourself available and make sure your family understands that this is your call and this is your passion. I, I think I'm very versatile. Uh, I can literally go from being, a, I guess, the outlaw biker licking guy that wears the jeans and the uh, boots and things of that nature. And then, you know, you see me an hour later, I may have a suit and tie on. I can, you know, kind of talk, jive, and hang out with the guys, but then, you know, I have to swap over in just a moment's uh, notice to become professional. So I, I, I kind of pride myself in being very versatile in many areas of my life. The best scripture of comfort uh, that I can give anyone is uh, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I think that's, for the most part, a, a kind of a catch-all, not just for families that are going through uh, bereavement, but just even for a person that's in life looking to to be more, to do more, to experience more. Uh, I've learned for myself personally that I'm limited as to what I can do, uh, as to what I can be, but I realized that through Christ, I can do anything, I can be anything, I can go as far as he will allow me to go.